Hey, this is Russell, back again with another episode. Uh, we're climbing up there in terms of uh, property, not property value, company value, which is much more important than property value. Our property is not that valuable compared to maybe some of the properties of these other dudes. But Flyface Productions has taken the new, uh, new uh, lead. They do ha only have a certain portion of their company owned by themselves. So there's that to consider. But yeah, they're doing pretty well. Um, so yeah, let's get going. I'm interested after today to see if the um, Vector dudes start doing any better with their product. Uh, let's go back to all software. Uh, are we still in the lead? In terms of uh, dudes, net units sold 20, 70. They have sold a lot of units on their first month. Holy smokes, yeah. So uh, they might overtake us, which would be unfortunate. Don't know how to compete with that then. I want releases like them. So how do they do that? Is it because their uh, price is lower than ours? Or do they have like a ridiculously more amount of marketing than us? Do I need like a bigger marketing team? I mean, it couldn't hurt to have a bigger marketing team. They're a ton of low wage, good for nothing anyways. Good for nothing employees anyways. Uh, I didn't educate everyone after last episode. Want to wait a little while longer to uh, educate them. They're making good enough progress as is um, on all of these things without a new education. And uh, yeah, when the education happens, it'll be gone for like a while. So, uh, yeah, it'll be like a big wave. Uh, it is the year 2000, and because it is, we can do something. We're going to, uh, is there a way to select it all in the entire building? Or maybe would it be like select the entire building and then select the, all of this kind of furniture? No. Okay, so I just have to go on every floor and do this. So, uh, no, no, no. It's going to be select furniture. And then... Is that kept all of these? Yeah, okay. And then... Select furniture. Oh no, that has not kept all of these. That's annoying. So I have to just do that like every floor. Um, where is it? It's gonna be like replace or something. No, hold on. Select furniture. There's like a replace button. Is yeah, replace. There we go. So we can do not that this one. Modern computer. Well, bam. Again. Select all, replace modern computers, and that will increase our production. Uh, select all of this kind, replace modern computers. Uh, you guys deserve modern computers as well. Replace modern computers. And with bam, we've got modern computers. We're also going to go to this room. And we just, we'll give you guys modern computers as well. We're not going to be too stingy. Select. Replace modern computers. Look at the price difference between these. It's interesting how it's different. I, I don't see how, like, the laptop is supposed to be better or worse than these ones. Wait, noise. Noise. And then, like, is power supposed to be, like, it does less work or takes less power or what? It just doesn't make sense. Environment. Better environment. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. And this one's just going to be better environment, I guess. And less noise and then this one's just going to be no noise and amazing environments and yeah 
Okay. Anyways, yeah, all of those are replaced. Uh, two more, actually. Replace computers. Well, bam. It's time. And look at that. Actually, I don't know if there's much of a difference I can see visibly because I never was paying attention beforehand anyways. <laughs> so yeah, new computers, not new people, same old people, without an education still. But yeah, I want to do it all at once in a bit. So let's go ahead and let them keep going. Uh, Zebrim is going to make a lot of progress with these bugs. In fact, I'm tempted to bump up the bug fixes maybe on Zebulon Office. I don't know. We've got quite a few active users. We actually dropped in active users. Are they stealing our active users? Uh, they're up to 110. Only in the first couple of months, too. Keep that in mind. Uh, net units sold 125,000. So. I'm interested, are they undercutting our profits? Looks like we made the same amount of profit last month as we made the other one. Like, do people consider ours like the old one now? I really don't understand. I just don't get it. Just don't get it. <sighs> uh, we're almost already, we might, we have the potential to surpass uh, these guys in profit. Not in the amount of units sold, though. Uh, it's been a profitable release, not an, a unit sold release, looks like. Uh, we're losing office software recognition, which is not good. Uh, but we have a huge amount of followers on this now, compared to some of our other releases. So there's that to consider. Um, these two have the potential to do well. They also have the potential to not do well and cave under their competition. So we'll see what keeps if they keep our company afloat or uh, if uh, we start losing money for a little while while we develop our main staples. These are our main staples. Um, it's like our, our we, we have the market recognition for them. They aren't going anywhere anytime soon. We have full teams dedicated to them. So we're, we're doing pretty well with those. Uh, this one has become the most needy for customer support now because uh, Zebulon Paint does not have the active users that it had before. Um, yeah. So check it out. Uh, people were on vacation, so we didn't finish the marketing off for that month. Uh, we seem to be a bit headed still, I guess. Oh, they're catching up to us in active users. Um, it might just be they might have like a ridiculous marketing budget. In, one, once you get to unavoidable, it doesn't tell you how much more they have dedicated to marketing. They also have a price that does undercut us. So I think $85 is my next one. I'll be slightly undercutting them. So we'll see if my 3D editor being $85 next time around makes it so that we do better. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Uh, did I screw up and have like a, a framework that I didn't use for one of those two? I'm not sure. Um, if so, it's kind of too late now. Maybe it's better we didn't have a framework so that uh, we could uh, improve the tech levels, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Just trying to make myself feel better. Uh, yeah, looking good. Uh, I do have to remember that all of these things are coming up. So just in a few months, this will be coming out. Zeb room is looking good when it comes to bugs. We don't want to fix too much bugs because it's it's not that important of a game. <laughs> and uh, 
The Zebulon office is sat on 402 bugs forever. 402 bugs fixed. Um, I'm just interested to see how, how they compete with us. Like if they're going to surpass us pretty fast or, or what. Now like do we have like the market divided between us for the 3D editors? Is that the idea? Um, is there another 3D editor out there? No. It's just us. We're just chilling. Net units sold. They, they, they've they reached just about the same amount of, uh, of dudes owning our systems. And our marketing has shot back up because we have, you know, full-time people working on it again. A whole full team, I mean. 27, so this is at the same on profit now. Profit has just uh, died down on these ones. We aren't really selling those anymore. Just barely staying alive. And, uh, yeah, pretty content with where we're at. Making decent progress on these. Zebulon Paint 4 is, of course, going to be the one that we blow through really fast because our core team is phenomenally good. Phenomenally good. That's what I meant to say. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting pretty uh, filled up on the, the customer support tickets here. Is it going to be time to uh, cut back on uh, the marketing for this soon? Let's bring it back to 160k because in the long run our market recognition is going to be more important than getting all the sales for these out right now. We don't want to miss tickets. We want to make sure we get all these tickets done. Our company has superior customer service probably to a lot of these other companies that are out there. That's our edge. We sell an experience. Um, that being said, these tickets are a bit worrying. Are they going to be able to get these, these done? So right now it was 640. At the end of today, is it going to get worse or better? Speaking of that, uh, that's not the one. Although I do need to keep an eye on this because it looks like we'll be running low on stock on the free the editor pretty soon. Yeah, they've surpassed us in users. So what's their secret? I don't know. But uh, they have a secret. So let's go ahead and order, how many did we sell last month? Not sure, I don't remember. Let's go ahead and order another 100K just to be safe. Because we don't know how long that'll sell for. Still. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? We've got marketing. More marketing, more marketing, and this one will be releasing a press build in January and a market release in February. Um, this one probably a bit later in the year, June-ish, maybe. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing with Zebrim is, yeah, okay, hold on. What What's it for this? Okay, we, we, we're, we're catching up. Definitely. We're going to get like all the tickets done for today. This is only 160k, that was why. And we had to make way for the marketing of Zebra Rim. So April is going to be marketed well. May it's going to be marketed well. June the marketing is going to plummet because we'll be having our people go on vacation. So it's actually good that we catch up on these for now. Active users has grown to 200k, and their active users, we sold around 50k copies last round. 
their active users has gone to 249. Is it portable yet? By portable, I do not mean carry. You could carry it around. I mean, are we able to port it? Are we missing out? Nope. So we have it on every platform. So it's not that. I mean, they did have a lot more market recognition than us because they have dominated the market in the past with the 3D editor. We're just a, a, a smaller competitor. So we got to hope that this market recognition will boost us to make the next 3D editor the best 3D editor in the market next time around. It's interesting. Very interesting. Our 2D editor market recognition is really getting up there. Audio tool, it's okay compared to the other ones. Office software is dropping, which again, worrying. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have two releases coming next year. Zebulon 3D Paint is going mind-bogglingly slow in its development. Um, I think education before next episode has to be a thing, at least just for the 3D editor team. Um, but yeah, I want to spare you guys sitting there watching me educate everything, especially when we're going to have a couple releases. Uh, Zebulon Office, Zebrim. Going to market Zebrim and announce a press build. And then next month, we are going to set out the press release for it as well. And well, bam. Let's make sure that we get this queue down pretty far down before next uh, month so that we can pour a ton into uh, marketing for Zebrim. We might be ignoring the customer service for a little while. So this one, the 3D paint, is going to be dropped down to here, to level one. You passed the fire inspection. How nice. Uh, actually, let's just make it level two for it to go a bit faster. So we brought the queue down pretty far. Good. Good, good, good. That's what I like to see. We need this queue down. Uh, we want to keep a token amount on these guys. Mark you on the villain office. Yeah, 20k, 20k. This will drop to 20k when that comes around. And that, that's a big drop down, of course, but... Again... We won't be able to compete in this market too much longer. We want to start pushing our other uh, items pretty soon here. It's been a while since you released an office software. Yes, I know. You guys know that because you guys know that there's an upcoming release. So Zebirim, you should have done this a few seconds ago or a little late. Where is it? Release. Let's watch the fans grow for this. Um, it's also might be a new big hit. Got our full attention. Good. We want your attention. We seek your attention. We need your attention. My release is in stock. Uh, we don't want to port. We want to order copies. Let's order another 200k so I don't have to think about this. Uh, let's do 250k so I don't have to think about this for a while. Not 250 million. That would be bad. Um, so I'm, I don't want to put this in bonds because I don't know how the releases of these two are going to go. Because again, we have competitors this time around. Uh, fix bugs. We've fixed quite a few bugs. 
Oh, we are also wasting time with Zebulon paint. Oh, didn't want to do that. Let's go ahead and develop that. I'm not sure how long that's been like that, but that's not good. Um, okay. Zebulon does not have to be focused on at all anymore. By any of these guys. We'll let it fix more bugs. Got 6% on that done today. So this will get done pretty fast, like it always does. And yeah, get ready to pause the game. We'll have the port, we'll have to do everything in the very first beginning of the next month. Uh, and also I just want to look one more time at the 3D editors at the beginning of next month. Let's look at it now. Get ready to pause though at the same time. Active users. So we are falling behind on active users. Wait, pause. Um, yeah, they've almost got the amount of net units sold that we've got. Okay. But we aren't going to be pushing our thing too much more. Instead, we are going to bump this down to 20k. And we're going to put priority one on it. I did 20k, right? Not 200k. Yes, I want to cancel the tutorial. Yeah, 20k. Okay, perfect. We are going to release Zebrim. Well, bam. It's done. Uh, yes, we want to do a marketing campaign. Let's make it 200k. Put everything into it. Um, you are going up here. Your marketing is going to be up to 10. We're also going to release port. What can we do for porting? Uh, you have a couple people on it. I think the people with the, the biggest uh, recognition have already been done. This was released just last year. So actually, let's just do all three of these. So why not? Let's go ahead and order copies. 300K, we're gonna assume it's gonna be a, a decent enough success to sell all of those copies. Might not buy any more copies though, we'll see. See how successful it is. Um, marketing, it's making progress. Again, we'll pour as much into marketing as we can. We'll ignore customer service for a while if we have to and it's gonna get pretty oh someone died who died phones no we need our phones people so let's go ahead and hire someone uh, for the service support low begin looking uh, phone's night. Look again. Just want to find someone that's great. Gotta roll someone good eventually. Oh, here, great. No. You have two on support. You're hired. That's fine. We'll need all the support we can get. And that was for Phones Night, right? So he went straight to the Phones Night team. Manage teams. Phones Night, Phones. Yep. Perfect. Toma Douglas chose a bad time to die. I need my marketers right now. Why couldn't you die on your own time? And he died during shift too, I think. Man, probably left a mess. Let's go ahead and pause this. Let's make it 270, not 370, 270. Again, 
customer service, you can wait, all you 242 people. Uh, that's it for this episode, but let's stop it, timer. I want to let it go to the end of the day, see how Zebrarim sells for its first month. Um, oh yeah, it's not the end of the day yet, because we have uh, the night team. You know, we have the release to see how that does. See what people think of it, the reviews and stuff like that. I mean, they're just going to put everything into it. This is Zebrarim after all. We're going to have like a really cinematic trailer where Russell, Moneybags, screams uh, into the camera and the big... Uh, like shout comes out of his mouth and blows away a dragon. That's what this is all about. Uh, I mean, another 20k? Doesn't hurt anyone. What's another 20 grand? Chump change. Yeah. There we go. Well, bam. We made money. So after all of that, we made a profit. We sold 48,000 units on our first sale. So we got some decent market recognition there. There we go. We did it. We broke into the game industry. What is our reviews for this? We've got the scoop. Yes, you do. Being said, it was extremely well-made product. It's probably not going to move any copies. It helped you spend time where you're getting the word out. We know what? We are spending time getting the word out. We got this amazing marketing team for them. It's already widespread. It'll be unavoidable next time around. Like, you won't be able to walk down the street and not hear about Zebrum eventually. It is going to be the best game there is. So much so that people are going to want for a sequel and then... We won't make a sequel. Instead, we'll just make an MMO and call it a sequel. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much. I've been Russell. Uh, this has become almost one of our most profitable things, even though it hasn't sold that many copies. That's interesting. Like, comment, favorite. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. You guys have a good one, and God bless. <laughs>